Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. Got four deer down back this, this morning. Three right there. And that one right there. Yeah, it's pretty neat looking. It's cool to wake up to. Four doe. I think one's a button buck. I was looking at them through binoculars earlier. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on the hobby farm. The garden, everything's just about done. This, I had peas right here. They're all dried up and done. Down in here I have some Brussels sprouts, which look pretty good. I think I'm going to cut these off. You look inside here. They're pretty plentiful. They say they're good after the first frost or two. So I'm going to probably cut those off and harvest them. We got some cauliflower that came back. I don't know if it's going to be any good or not. It's kind of rough looking. My broccoli all went to seed so it's pretty much done. And in here I do have a few peppers. But I might harvest a few of them out of there. I think that's going to be about it for the garden. The corn's all done. It's all brown. I think I'm bringing tractor up here tonight. Give a little brush hogging this all off. Over there I got some old strawberry beds that aren't in use anymore. I'm going to brush hog them all off. we we'll work on getting this plastic up here today. Up in here I started moving some dirt. Going to plan on putting the sugar house up in there for this year's maple syrup season. Might get the other tractor up here, start moving some of that, and I'd like to move the uh, evaporator and stuff up in here, hopefully today. These right here, a couple old strawberry beds. You can't even really tell there's so much weeds in them anymore. Probably gonna brush hog these off and just be done with them. I was gonna think about trying to save them last year, but I don't think I'm gonna do that this year. Well, that takes care of all the brush hogging off this. I think the next thing I'm going to do is pull this plastic all up. Then I'm going to, I think, put the tiller on the tractor. And all this will be nice compost that goes into the garden for next year. Chickens and ducks sure like it when I clean out the garden. Well, that takes care of getting all that plastic up. 
nice pile of it down there and the ducks are down in there they're enjoying the little bits of leftover corn that are in there so I think I'm gonna go take the brush hog off and put the tiller on and get this tilled in and see how it looks Oh, that was a pain in the neck. This uh, PTO shop, I, I lent it out to my neighbor and I pulled apart on his tractor. It rattles up and down so much. The three point hitcher on this arm here popped apart and swung around. It's got a bad spot in my PTO shaft where it slides back and forth together. So I'm hoping that I can wear it in a little bit today. Hopefully, it'll move up and down and it'll slide and give a little bit. But I'm going to try it out. Pray we don't break something. Well, I think I got it all freed up and moving. I'm gonna go try it out, see if it works good. Got it all tilled up. It looks pretty good. Still got some corn stubble in here. But I think all this will rot down real good. Be nice compost in the garden for next year. We'll probably end up putting manure on here throughout the year for throughout the winter. Cleaning the horses stalls out and stuff. So I think I'm gonna put three beds in here next spring. And that'll be a pretty decent amount for the garden next year. I got some color flower in here and some Brussels sprouts that I picked out before I rototilled this under. Down here I got a little pile of peppers I picked out of there that I just wanted to save before we tilt it in. And I picked out a few onions too that I missed when I was harvesting last time around. I'll take these in and get them all cleaned up and these will be good. Last fresh fresh veggies out of the garden for the year. Okay, well I got my the arch part of my uh, maple syrup evaporator up here. I kinda knocked the door off when I bring it up, but and now I'm just kinda deciding way I want to set this in here and I think what I'm gonna do is uh, back up set it down and unhook and grab a hold of it from the other side so I'd like to put this the stove part of the door facing towards the driveway I think it'll be easier to back in here and get wood and stuff and
Well, there she be. That's where we're gonna set her up. So I gotta level it up. I'm gonna bring some gravel in here and I'm gonna build a hoop house over top of this. That way we can kind of stay dry this year and hopefully be able to get in and out of here real nice. Open up here, kind of up on a hill right here. Hopefully be able to set my tanks up here and just gravity feed the sap down into it. I think that's going to be about it for me for today. A long day moving stuff and getting tractors running and pumping up tires and tilling and cleaning the garden out. I think I'm about ready to call it a day, go get some dinner and take the tractor back down and bring my truck back up.